Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Real Housewives Dorit Kemsley feels up Dorinda Medley. Here's a crossover fans never saw coming. Following her separation, in a new clip, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star, Dorit Kemsley was caught getting wild with former Real Housewives of New York star. The fashion designer has been making waves following her split from Paul P.K. Kemsley, who announced their separation after nine years of marriage in May. The couple's relationship was a hot topic throughout season 13. Following the news, Dorit explained that she and P.K. were feeling disconnected, which led to their decision. According to her RHOBH co-star Garcelle Bova, Dorit, who shares son Jagger, 10 and daughter Phoenix, 8, with PK, has been adjusting to her new single life pretty well. During an appearance on Jeff Lewis Live, Garcelle said her frenemy is on fire this season. She also attributed it to the Beverly Beach designers having a lot going on in her life. Dorit's adjustment to single life seems to include getting a little rowdy with other housewives. Dorinda Medley posted a new video of her and Dorit having a cheeky encounter while hanging out in California. The two Bravalberties were seen walking seductively toward each other in the Instagram post. As Dorinda slowly unzips her white jacket with what appears to be nothing underneath, Dorit reaches out to handle her breasts. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. Dorit screeches before pretending to motorboat the R-H-O-N-L-I-A-L-M. Brewer, she said, moving her head back and forth near R-H-O-N-L-I star's chest. Dorinda captioned the post, sharing is caring. Great day with you at Dorit Kemsley, and added the hashtags hashtag California Dreaming hashtag Bravo hashtag Nemsisa. Fans immediately flooded the comment section to discuss the new clip. While some praised the video, others thought the RHOBH star was trying too hard. One fan proclaimed, This is literally my dream come true. Another pointed out, Dorit tries way too hard to be the center of attention and never quite puts it off. Dorit, Garcelle, Erica Jane, Kyle Richards, and Sutton Strack will all return as cast members for season 14 of RHOBH. They will be joined by Bozoma St. John. Kyle's sister, Kathy Hilton, returns as a friend, along with Sutton's BFF, Jennifer Tilly. Meanwhile, Dorinda landed a new show set at her Berkshire's estate, Bluestone Manor. What do you make of Dorit's behavior in the new video? Finally, did you know Dorinda and Dorit were even friends? Sound off in the comments below. The ladies of Real Housewives had gathered at a lavish Hamptons estate for a weekend retreat, and the air was thick with champagne-fueled excitement and the ever-present threat of drama. It was a picturesque summer evening. The sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of pink and gold as the women sipped their cocktails, ready for the night's festivities. As always with the housewives, anything could happen, and it usually did. Inside the grand living room, Dorit Kemsley, fashionably clad in a flowing designer caftan, leaned back against the plush velvet couch, swirling her glass of rosé. Across from her, Dorinda Medley sat in her usual regal posture, glancing around the room with a raised eyebrow, her martini in hand. The setting was perfect for a peaceful evening, but there was always an undercurrent of chaos when these two were in the same room. Dorinda, darling, Dorit purred in her signature accent, flipping her impeccably styled hair over her shoulder. I've been meaning to tell you, I just adore that dress you wore to Luan's cabaret last month. It was absolutely divine. Dorinda, ever the quick wit, narrowed her eyes with a slight smirk. Oh, you liked it, did you? You didn't seem so sure that night. You said something about the color washing me out. Dorit's eyes widened, playing up the innocence. Oh no, no. I didn't mean it like that, love. 
I was just offering a bit of friendly fashion advice. You know how I am. You looked gorgeous. Dorinda sipped her drink, letting the tension simmer for a moment before waving her hand dismissively. Well, I'll take that as a compliment then, darling. The rest of the women mingled around the estate, but something about Dorit and Dorinda's conversation drew attention. Maybe it was the not-so-subtle digs masked as compliments, or the electricity that buzzed between them every time they exchanged words. There was always a strange chemistry between the two, a mixture of admiration, competition, and something else. Something more playful. Dorit leaned forward, her eyes flicking to Dorinda's neckline, which was daringly low, revealing a glimpse of her decolletage. You know, Dorinda, she began with a mischievous glint in her eye. That necklace you're wearing tonight, it's fascinating. Is it vintage? Dorinda raised her chin, looking down at the delicate string of pearls resting against her skin. It's an old family heirloom, she said proudly, her voice tinged with nostalgia. Been in the Medley family for generations. Dorit set her glass down on the table beside her, and, without missing a beat, reached across the short distance between them. Let me see it up close, she said softly, her perfectly manicured fingers brushing against Dorinda's collarbone as she gingerly lifted the necklace between her fingers. The movement was casual enough, but there was an unmistakable charge to it. Dorinda raised an eyebrow, her expression one of curiosity mixed with amusement. You're getting awfully touchy tonight, Dorit, she teased, her voice low. Dorit laughed, brushing off the comment. Oh, don't be silly, darling. I'm just admiring the craftsmanship. And well, she leaned in a little closer, you know me. I can't resist touching something so beautiful. Dorinda met Dorit's eyes, her lips curling into a sly smile. Is that what you're calling it now? Admiration. Before Dorit could respond, Ramona Singer's voice rang out from across the room, breaking the momentary tension between them. Dorit. Dorinda. What are you two gossiping about over there? Come join us. We're heading to the hot tub. The spell was broken, but not forgotten. Dorit and Dorinda exchanged a knowing glance before rising from their seats and making their way toward the others. As they walked side by side, Dorit's hand grazed Dorinda's back, almost if scent mindedly, but Dorinda noticed. She always noticed. Out by the hot tub, the women were already shedding their elaborate evening attire for swimsuits and sarongs laughing and chatting amongst themselves. The atmosphere had shifted from sophisticated dinner party to playful girls' night, but the undercurrent of competition and flirtation still lingered in the air. As Dorinda slipped into the bubbling water, Dorit followed suit, her eyes subtly tracking Dorinda's every move. The two ended up sitting next to each other, their knees brushing under the water. The rest of the women splashed around, toasting their drinks and cracking jokes, but there was something different about the energy between Dorit and Dorinda. It was subtle, but it was there, a tension that neither seemed quite ready to acknowledge. Dorit leaned in once again, her hand resting on Dorinda's arm this time. You know, I never realized how toned you were, she said, her voice smooth as silk. You must work out a lot. Dorinda chuckled, taking a sip of her drink. Oh, please, darling. I've always had these arms. Just good genes, I guess. Dorit's hand lingered a little longer than necessary before pulling away, her fingers trailing down Dorinda's arm as she withdrew. Well, whatever it is, it's working, she said with a wink. Dorinda's lips twitched into a smile. You're a bit cheeky tonight, aren't you? Dorit grinned, unabashed. Oh, I'm always cheeky, love. You just never noticed before. The night continued, the women enjoying their drinks, the water, and the endless opportunities for drama. But for Dorit and Dorinda, something had shifted. 
What had started as playful banter and light flirtation had evolved into something more charged, more electric. As the evening wound down and the women slowly began retreating to their rooms, Dorit and Dorinda found themselves alone once again, sitting side by side in the now quiet hot tub. The air between them crackled with the unspoken. You know, Dorinda said, her voice low and teasing, if you keep this up, people might start talking. Dorit leaned in closer, her breath warm against Dorinda's cheek. Let them talk, she whispered, her hand once again finding its way to Dorinda's shoulder, her touch light but intentional. Maybe I want them to. Dorinda turned to face her, their eyes locking in a moment of silent understanding. Is that so? Dorit didn't answer with words. Instead, she let her action speak, her hand moving from Dorinda's shoulder to the back of her neck, her fingers brushing the base of her hair in a way that was both intimate and playful. The weekend in the Hamptons had started like any other gathering of the housewives, full of glamour, gossip, and the occasional feud.